What's up guys? So on the last vlog you saw me uh, working or showing you guys Toothless. I mentioned that it had some clutch issues. It won't go into gear when the engine's on. So you're gonna get to see me working through replacing uh, the slave cylinder and AKA the clutch release cylinder and also the clutch master cylinder. And so without further ado, let's get to work. What's up guys? So last night I went ahead and installed the new Clutch Master cylinder. Uh, it was super easy. I only thing I have to do now is bleed the clutch line. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that first. And then if it still uh, doesn't have any pressure, then I'll replace the clutch slave cylinder. Uh, but I figured I'd just replace one at a time and hopefully it was the clutch master cylinder. I'll show you the old one. So this is the old one that I pulled out and from what I can tell it looks like the seal is kind of broken. So it's very, it's kind of dirty around here and it looks like it was potentially leaking. The fluid itself is really really dirty which is concerning. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can show you guys that like super super dirty in there and uh, I'm gonna get this all flushed out and replaced with good new fluid um, and we're gonna see if I've got some pressure okay push it down that was a good burp can we switch up all the rules and imagine a utopia A darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They can weigh me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out I kind of screwed up and I cross-threaded the master cylinder, uh, the clutch master cylinder So basically I might be able to salvage the bottom threads that really keep it from leaking and kind of cut a new path. So I'm going to try that, but if that doesn't work, I'm probably going to have to get a new clutch master cylinder again, project car life. So try not to get disappointed, um, but I really just want to be able to drive one of these cars and it's so frustrating. So I'm going to try to get that line pushed back in and then see if I can get it to seat and if not then there'll be another vlog after I order new parts so stay tuned. I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you guys what I'm doing but my clutch master cylinder is down here so the line that goes into it is obviously a metal probably a steel line and it doesn't sit like perfectly in, it kind of pushes against the master cylinder like this. So what I'm doing, one of the people suggested to me after I stripped it, or you know, cross threaded it, is to push on the uh, metal line, and then I have to hold that line in, and then turn the nut, which is really difficult because there's not a lot of space in there. story short guys I did not get the master cylinder put back in um, I was out here for an hour like holding the uh, clutch line in and slowly wrenching on it and no luck um, I could tell it was still very very cross-threaded and I did not have the ability to use the right leverage in order to push that in any further yeah sorry no happy news um i will get this girl going one way or another i will all right continuing on from where i left off 
I bought a new clutch master cylinder because I totally cross-threaded the other one. I don't have a helicoil um, repair kit or anything like that. And honestly, the clutch master cylinder was cheap enough to just go ahead and replace it instead of buying that kit. Um, so I didn't want to deal with that. But I just put the new one in and I pushed in the clutch line and I started tightening it by hand. And what do you know, I've got it almost completely tight by hand. So I know that I didn't cross thread it this time. So I'm really happy about that. I uh, feel a little bit silly that I did that last time, but we all make mistakes and we all have to learn. So my tip for you is when you're replacing these clutch master cylinders, don't um, fasten them up inside the car until you have the clutch line in the master cylinder first because that just gives it that wiggle room that you need in order to keep it from having so much pressure that it cross threads. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up um, with a wrench and then I am gonna go ahead and get it adjusted inside and then I will be bleeding it and uh, the car might, might just be able to drive tonight. So stay tuned. All right, so I have you positioned underneath my dash. Sorry, I can't get you a better angle. I'm currently putting the inner nuts on the clutch master cylinder um, to hold it in place so I can finish tightening up the line. All right, so now I am just double checking the threads. This is the original um, clutch master cylinder that was in there. So I'm gonna count these threads and adjust the nut on the new one uh, down to the same length. And then I'll reinstall, or then I'll get this hooked back up to the clutch, get some uh, brake fluid in it and see what we've got. See if we've got any leaks. Fingers crossed I didn't damage uh, the flare on that clutch line when I was installing the other one. Uh, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna do that next and uh, here we go. Yeah, so basically, here's my clutch pedal. Here's that little guy right there. So I gotta adjust that and then get it reattached uh, to the clutch pedal in here. So, I just don't have a better way to show this to you, but that's what I'm doing right there. Just went to start the Celica and the battery's dead, so now I gotta jump it. Cause I left the battery, or I left the door open all night, so I killed the battery. So I'm gonna go jump it and uh, see what we got. So I just went to charge the battery in uh, Toothless over there, and it said that it was at 100% charge. Which makes no sense because the car literally is like deader than a doornail. Um, so I went ahead and tested it with a multimeter and it's coming in at 8 volts. Uh, which obviously is not good. The uh, prior owner told me that he thought the battery was bad so that makes sense. Um, I've got a brand new one in Sakura. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out and put it in the other car and uh, go from there, because Sakura is sitting until I put a new engine in anyway, so I might as well take the battery out and get some use out of it, so I'm gonna go do that. There's definitely a benefit to having two of the same car, because that's awesome. So I didn't have to pay for that. Well, I did, but not um, twice. <laughs> If you know what I mean. I hope and pray that this is the problem and that I don't have an electrical issue. But I'm thinking it probably is the issue. All right, let's see what we've got. Lights already look brighter. All right. 
right, so I just got the car started, tried to put it in gear. As you guys could see, it's not going into gear. It's still a little bit soft on the clutch, so I think it needs blood some more, but I'm also just gonna go ahead and replace the slave cylinder while I'm at it. Cause I mean, it wasn't even trying to go into gear, even with kind of pumping up the clutch. And there's way more pressure now than when um, I took the car apart. So I'm thinking that's probably um, the issue is the slave. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'm gonna bleed the whole system again. I have to go pick up more brake fluid cause I'm out and I'm going to see if that fixes it. If not, might need a tranny, <laughs> naturally. So um, we're gonna hope that's not the case though. Um, we're just gonna say it's a slave cylinder and everything's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Going in for the slave now. Here's the new one. Hopefully this is the issue. Time for a little PB blaster. Help if I could actually hit the right thing. Here we go. Had to bust out the big guns. Ooh, thing was rusty. All right, just putting this little 10 mil back on if I can. Oh, that was way more difficult than it should have been, but that's part of the problem with clutch lines being in the way. And I'd rather have issues with the little attachment thing, the little attachment thing, very scientific, than uh, have this get stripped again. So, you know, I'll So I'm a little disappointed. You guys might be a little disappointed. Um, thought that toothless is gonna be a quick and easy fix, but I think it's a combination of issues now. Um, I replaced the slave cylinder. I replaced the clutch master cylinder and bled the hell out of the clutch line. There's no air at all. Everything's operating correctly on the slave. I'm watching it work, it looks good and uh, pressure on the clutch feels good, but it will not go into gear when the engine's running. I can put it in gear when it's not running and then drive it kind of like that, um, but it's just, it's not. <laughs> so basically I am pretty sure it's the clutch uh, that's bad which this car has 250,000 miles on it, so who knows when it was done last. And there's a lot of leaks. Um, it could be low fluid, so I will check that before I change the clutch out. But um, ultimately, I'm pretty sure I've got a clutch to replace and toothless. So that's a big bummer because now I have a car that needs an engine and a car that needs a clutch replaced. Both are pretty major undertakings as I'm sure you guys are well aware. So what that means is I'm gonna have to wait until I can get the car towed up to my parents shop um, up north. I also knew that it was potentially a clutch in this car um, and so I don't feel completely blindsided by that. Like the, o the owner did tell me, he's like, it could be the slave cylinder, which is what I was hoping because the clutch had no pressure at all or the master cylinder, like it was soft. Um, so I was hopeful it was that, but he said the mechanic quoted me 1500 bucks to fix it um, if it's not the slave or the master. So I did have an idea that it could be worse um, so that's where we're at with the two cars. Um, I have been shopping around for an engine and I found one that's been compression tested and is a used engine. Um, and it's 
uh, I'm waiting for a price quote for from them and see if they're willing to ship because it's in Minnesota. Ideally, I'd take both of them up north into storage um, just because uh, Sakura needs a top. So having having uh, her out here in the winter is not ideal. Uh, and then this car also has a ton of rust problems. So I really need to get some new rockers welded in. I'm going to have to do some patches where I can. Um, the floor pan and the rockers are pretty rusty. So it could be interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure the extent of the rust. We'll see. That's where I'm at. So project, project cars might be slow um, for the rest of this year until I get some things figured out. I've got like little things I can do with the interior um, and stuff like that that I could show you. So um, it's a possibility, but um, we'll see. Anyway, I am going to do some more work on the car and uh, work on the interior since I've got the pieces here. So next week you'll get to see some videos on that.